YouTube Dawson Rider here with a review of the Dino Chaser and Cure You Red set, similar to the Red Buster and Cheetah Nick set from last year. We've got a Bike and Ranger set, which comes with a Cure You Red figure and the Dino Chaser, as well as this one actually comes with a Judenshi. Um, yeah, last year's came with nothing. Anyhow, I'll just take a quick look at the box. I've obviously got a picture of the contents right here. Cure You Red riding the Dino Chaser. It's obviously where it was. On the top, you get the cool uh, package image of all of them. There, over here on the side, it shows how they transform together. Um, on the, over here, it shows the same picture of them together. And on the back, it um, just shows the functionality, of uh, basically. So anyway, now that's about it. Nothing too spectacular. Oh, you do get this cool image here at the bottom of them all together. But now we'll get that out of here and bring in our actual toys. So we've got Dino and Chaser and Show You Red. And then he also does come with some weapons here and here. Okay, um, and then of course the Juden Ryu, uh, or the Juden Ryu, the Judenchi, excuse me, uh, right here, the Dino Chaser one, it is this really strange Gatorade color, which is fine, I guess, um, but so that's the color it is, you got the 11 here, um, obviously you can do Brave In, you Sparkly, not Sparkly, Sparkly, not Sparkly, um, the little image here, on the back it says Dino Chaser, um, so yeah, pretty much uh, the same as all of them. Um, you know, it's a Judenshi. Um, so now we'll cut away quick to show the, the noises in the Gabba Revolver and Kyuji. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the sounds for Dino Chaser. Uh, this is going to be a bit different uh, than usual. There's no henshin sounds or anything like that. This is basically just going to be doing a bike summoning sound, so... And just to prove it, that will do nothing. So just press the trigger. So you get those noises, so that is cool. And it does indeed uh, work in, what's the wrong button? Your Cure Eugen. So I'll just give you this lovely battery to look at while I pull in everyone's favorite Dino Mecha. Oh. He's not gonna have an arm or part of an arm, just for fun, because I knocked it off on a non-existent coffee cup. Okay, so we will put him in just to show that he's got a final sound. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. So yeah, that is cool. Now back to your regular scheduled review. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, um, we will go ahead and go over the contents. Uh, let's go over Curry Red first and just do the figure. Um, he's, a, he's a pretty okay little figure. It's always nice to have a figure to represent uh, the Rangers early before we get uh, figure arts. Um, this one, more so than uh, Red Busters, reminds me of like the old PR Cycle figures. Um, but detail-wise, his helmet's not bad. Uh, the helmet's a little skinny for Kyoji Red's design, I think. But all the details are there. Uh, you just got the basic red, his visor, the yellow surrounding it, uh, little eyes. Overall, just not bad. Uh, the chest here, you get his sort of, um, I guess, sash type deal going on here. Uh, the colors all look fine. You do have a fully painted little symbol there, which is nice. Um, it was really cool the way that's a dinosaur. Anyway, but so overall that's fine. Uh, you can see the little bolts here, which is annoying. But overall, uh, pretty basic. You do get a little bit of texture here for uh, the way his arms are. Uh, you know, they have that sort of textured pattern, which is, I guess, a nice touch. But overall, it's pretty basic. And just this sort of skinny structure of the figure reminds me of the old PR figures, uh, especially, you know, getting down into here. Uh, just like the ones that came with, like, the Zeo cycles and the MMPR cycles. But uh, overall, pretty basic, but not bad. Um, Articulation-wise, his head rotates around 360. You get some slight up and down movement. Um, his arms are on a hinge joint, so you get some nice um, out and around movement, nice 360. Uh, no shoulder joint to speak of at all. Uh, you do get swiveling here. There's no swiveling at the uh, wrist. Um, there is no swiveling at the chest, or the waist, rather. Um, another like ball joint here, so you get some nice uh, range of movement here. A single knee joint here. Um, and some swiveling. So very, very basic. Uh, nowhere near uh, figure arts articulation really at all. Um, here he is next to last year's uh, Red Buster figure. As you can see, they are in scale. Um, they're they're pretty similar. I think it's just because of the nature of Red Buster's design with like the leather pieces and whatnot. Um, or they're not actual leather, but I mean the way his suit is designed. He just doesn't come off quite as much like the old PR figures. Um, and he's just overall a little bit better of a figure for me. Um, but they're pretty much the same. Uh, I believe these are a little, just a little, oh, 
sorry about that, uh, just a little bit shorter than a figure art. And as I said, he does come with a weapon, uh, or weapons, he gets a Gabba revolver, which is just basically all black, uh, you do see some little details in there, um, and uh, the sword, which I'm forgetting the name of at this moment, I have no idea why, um, but uh, yeah, just all black, basically, just like, uh, you know, PR weapons. Why am I forgetting the name of this? I know this, this is a Gabba revolver, and the sword. People are going to in the comments going to be like, oh, it's this, you nub. And I know it. I just don't know it. Anyhow, uh, you do get these two guys which are going to be coming to the bike. You get Dino here, uh, which is just yellow and Dino-y. I don't know. Um, he's fine looking. There's nothing really spectacular about him. Uh, they're just kind of sitting there really doing nothing. But sitting there, he can't open and close his mouth, which is a feature of transformation and whatnot. Um, but, and then here is Chase or Chaser or whatever. Uh, he can also open and close his mouth, but also feature transformation. It really doesn't do anything. Uh, there's nothing really spectacular about their paint jobs or anything like that. Um, so to transform them, it's actually pretty simple. I'll set Kiryu right aside so I don't knock him over. Uh, just basically a bunch of twists. Uh, take his headpiece here, twist it around, and then open up his mouth. Take this, twist it around. Uh, take these leg pieces, and you're going to want to fold them up here and then kind of snap them in like that, and then fold them up here and snap in so they stay. So then you got that piece ready. Uh, for him, it's even simpler. Uh, just take this piece here, you fold it forward, and then you take this whole mouthpiece, fold it down, uh, at least for now, and then fold his legs up. And then basically you're going to combine them using the, the Judenshi as a bridge. Uh, so you just place this in here, it'll sort of snap. Um, and then here, this will go in here, and then you'll see there's a little sliding mechanism to go into here and a peg to go into here, so you kind of want all these to line up at once. And uh, you're going to kind of have to be a little forceful. Um, it's going to seem like it's difficult and you're going to break it, at least for me, but once you force it, um, you will get a snap, and there you go. And then you can fold his mouth up. And there you have uh, the Dino Chaser, which is actually pretty cool looking. I have really liked this concept all along of these two dinosaurs basically biting each other or biting the battery and combining. Um, so I do like the design overall. And once you put it in bike boat, it actually does look pretty nice. I mean, there's not a whole lot of details to it uh, inherently, so it does look nice. And um, it could probably be even be used for the figure art once uh, it comes out. So very nice. Um, it does uh, have a bit of a trouble standing. I mean, you can, but it can be a bit wobbly. I found you can pull these down to act as a bit of a stand, if you like. Um, I'm actually going to do that, just so I don't have any problems with them falling over. Um, so then you can just put him on here and situate him, uh, bend his legs. Uh, I really wish they had given him some elbow articulation. That would have just kind of helped things in general. Just, I don't know. It's not like a huge deal, because it's more about like the legs and positioning him to sit down. Um, he's looking really stupid, but it would just be nice because it just makes things feel a bit more natural. So we will put this in here, and now he can shoot you sideways, and you'd be like, boom, kaboom, ha, that's funny. Um, so yeah, that's the way that looks. Uh, he fits on the bike quite nicely, he does seem almost a bit small for it. Um, but like I said, this will probably be able to be used for the figure art, um, and they'll probably make this in figure art form, they're going to make everything. But overall, pretty nice looking. Um, but so, as for final recommendation, um, I do quite enjoy this. Uh, the figure is just a nice, really like a nice extra to have. He's nothing spectacular. Uh, the bike is pretty fun. I, like I said, I do like the concept. It's fun just to transform him, and once it's together, it does look pretty nice. And you do get an extra battery uh, to add sounds to all of your battery reading toys and whatnot. So, um, if you can find it for a good price, I do recommend it. I think it's a pretty fun little toy if you're a Curiouser fan. Um, it's not really a must because you'll probably be able to find this battery later and some sort of set or something, um, but other than that, um, uh, basically if you just like it, I don't see a problem getting it. I quite enjoy it. Um, it's not an absolute must-have, but it is a pretty uh, cool toy, and I, I do enjoy it. So and I'm just saying the same things again. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast of Riders, Rangers, and Rambles. Until next time, this is Dawson Ryder, signing out.